Everybody praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. We thank the Lord for what the Lord is doing. You know, sometimes when you have uh, this new wine, the new wine of the Spirit, and the new wine of miracle, people that see you will not understand your joy. But the joy of the Lord will be your strength in Jesus' name. Now coming to the end of the year, and as I told you, December 31, that is the last day and the last hour of this year God is, open, God, God is going to open the gate before you yeah. all the past everything will the water under the bridge you'll forget everything in Jesus name yeah. and then it's going to be a night of power a night of miracle a night of signs and wonders and anywhere you are, you are connected. You'll be connected to the power that is able to create, the power that's able to heal, the power that is able to deliver, and the power that opens the way before you to move into the new inheritance. Make an appointment with God that night. You'll never be the same again. And this coming year, 2014, be very much different from every year you have ever spent in your life. Yeah. We're walking on the storm, walking on the sea, and then we will meet again in the new year. Wonders of wonders. Yeah. I said wonders of wonders. Yeah. Great things will continue your life in Jesus' name. I just want to encourage you. That everything you have said, maybe this will never happen, this will never happen. Maybe let me just give myself over to whatever it is. Turn around. Those things that you thought will never happen, will happen. The things you thought I'll never have, you will have them. Blessing on your family. Blessing on your husband. Blessing on your wife. Blessing on your children. And those of you who have not married, you know, you know, sometimes you are the headquarters here. You you don't maybe because there is um, an invisible barricade. You are not able to get to me. I promised you that we're going to have singles breakthrough. But you just say amen, amen every time. None of you ever sneaks to get to me and say, Pastor, I am waiting. I'm the person you talked about. When are you going to give me that conference? And you know, when you make connection like that, you make connection with yourself and you make connection with other people, it will come. Uh, single people who are here, are you there? Where are you? Single people. And I want you now find a program that will make you in this coming year, brother and sister, so and so. You will get it in Jesus' name. And then those who have married, who are hearing these testimonies this year, we have testimony of, you know, three children to just, uh, you know, just at one go like that. And then four just at a go. We're going to, by the grace of God, now I see all these things, but even the Lord said, put me in remembrance. If we say this and this and this, you must put us in remembrance. All those who have been looking up to the Lord and you've been married and there's no child, they say, is this from this problem? You have x-ray, you have medical report and everything. We're going to come together. We're going to collect all the medical reports together. And then just us, just us. And then I declare the miracle of childbirth in your family. And all the barrenness will vanish away in Jesus' name. I'm saying that this coming year will be a productive year. It will be a, it will be a progressive year. 
it will be a year when all that you have lost all that you'll be looking for all those things will come in your life in jesus name begin now to count those things which be not as though they were before they come count those things which be not as though they were the favor of the lord it will multiply your life in the coming year now why don't you open your mouth and tell the lord get prepared get prepared get prepared on the 31st of december i will connect i will connect the gate will open before you and all the doors of bad luck will be closed behind you and all the things that are negative you will forget them and remember them no more and then goodness of god the salvation of the lord and the grace of god will multiply in your life as you come to the new year and you see all the things God is doing is taking all side away also of 10 years cancer of many years god taking everything away blindness is going paralysis is going polio is being healed and all the various things the lord has done for us this year and the lord is saying this is a foretaste it's the beginning of great things to come and you'll be a partaker with the people of god in jesus name in jesus name we pray yeah. heavenly father we thank you because this is a period of favor over your people it's a period of goodness over your people it's a period of the open door over your people and i pray oh lord every door that is closed against any brother against any sister against any family open the doors again in jesus name i pray lord the great work you are doing in every heart i pray that this great work will continue and no devil no demon no satan no evil power will hinder the blessing of the people of god in jesus name Lord, for all the people that were able to come here from January to February to March to April, May and June and to July and to August, September, October, November and this December and they were able to give testimony, we rejoice with them. We pray that their testimonies will be permanent in Jesus' name in all the various places from january to december every state every region every country and beyond africa and beyond where people have tasted the power of the lord and they have experienced the miracle working power of the lord and they came to give testimony i pray lord they will not cry after laughing they will not be sorrowful after being happy that you confirm and you make permanent their testimonies in Jesus' name. And for the many of us from January to this December, we have not been able to come here to give testimony, but we've got the miracle already. We Only we need to have the chance. I pray, Lord, every good thing you have done for your people this year will be permanent in Jesus' name. And for those who appear to say, did I get anything? Lord, remind them of those ten lepers that came to you. And then you said they should go. It does not appear anything has happened. As they were going on the way, all of them, they were healed. Lord, I'm praying for the people that were prayed for. And they feel, have I got anything? Convince them they've got it. Show them they have got it manifest in their lives they have got it in jesus name i pray lord once again that you open the doors of blessing showers of blessing showers of blessing showers of blessing upon every one of your people gathered together here and every other place in jesus name our doors are open will enter through in the strength of the lord in the power of the lord we will not fail we thank you because we know you have answered in jesus name we pray god bless you i pray that joy will never cease in your life 
We have come to the end of this uh, double program. That is the retreat and the revival. And we thank the Lord for what the Lord has done and how the Lord has taught us from the very beginning of the retreat. We spoke about the believer's new inheritance. And we see that whatever we have got in the past, the future, your future, is brighter than your past. We learned about faith for the earthly inheritance. And we have seen here on this earth, we can have salvation. Here on this earth, we can have sanctification. Here on this earth, we can have the power of the Holy Ghost in our lives. Here on this earth, healing, deliverance, and all other blessings are ours. And the faith to have, and the faith to keep, the faith to possess, and the faith to preserve all the blessings of God. I pray that that faith will be vibrant in every one of our lives in Jesus' name. We listen to the message on true repentance and genuine salvation. Many people go about in life with a false kind of repentance. They may cry. They may look 